Grayman is supported by Patreon. Donate now and receive special early access. Hello, hello, hello. I am the Gray Man, and welcome back to Mega Man. And we are going to fight the most bullshit boss in the game. I, I know Fire Man is probably arguably worse, but um, I put it to you that Elect Man is probably the most bullshit boss in uh, Mega Man. Uh, so in the previous episode, I was talking about how this uh, game is like a little bit more rough around the edges than other Mega Man titles. And definitely one of the ways that it does that is the fact that the majority of the bosses can just straight up kill you in three hits. Like, um, Elect Man can, uh, Fire Man definitely can, um, Ice Man, Bomb Man, just Cut Man, just, uh, Guts Man, just everybody down the, down the list can kill you in three hits. Um, and, like, um, and arguably that would be fine, um, most of their strategies give you, like, enough maneuverability and just, like, you know, obviously the, uh, the, uh, the sub-weapons, like, help you out there. But just in a, in a Lech Man's case, it's just extremely difficult because, uh, he undeniably has the best weapon in the game. He, um, it goes in all directions, it's super powerful, uh, you got the pause trick that you can take advantage of, it's just, uh, and that's great when you get it, but when it's being used against you, it's not so much fun. There we go. I'm acting all like, oh, I can time this well. Yeah, I, I wasn't timing that very well. And just, you got this little bit right over here. There's great use of your puzzle right there. It's just, you give it just a straight line. It doesn't really become a challenge. It becomes more of an inconvenience at that point. And here we go. All right. And this is, uh, this is another thing that, uh, you can kind of show that is, uh, or that you can see that is really rough around the edges, because this is a really vertically focused level, and, uh, it, in my opinion, Mega Man doesn't really work very well when it's vertically focused. Like, all, I know he's Mr. Jump and Shoot, um, but a lot of that jumping and shooting works best, uh, horizontally, as opposed to vertically. And admittedly, in the, uh... In the second game, like, you do have Crash Man stage, which is very, late, like, vertically focused. Um, and that level's okay. Oh! I got a rant about this. So, when I was a little kid, and I played this for the first time, I did not know that you needed to get that little item right there in order to beat the game. That right there is a platform gun, and you need the platform gun in order to get through Dr. Wily's castle. So if you have not gotten that very specific item, in this very specific level, the game is unwinnable and you have to reset. It is the biggest load of bullshit, and it's, um, something that they never did in any other Mega Man game, and I'm grateful for it. Had a belch of anger right there, sorry. Um, and also because I was a little kid and I didn't understand how Gutsman's weapon worked, I didn't understand that I had to pick this thing up, throw them out of there, and that's how you get the platform gun. And also... Uh, I got a rant about this. Uh, so they've never used the platform gun. Oh, actually, I could use that. Okay. I've been using the uh, cut spans weapon like so much throughout this level, and I really need it for the final boss. So I should be, I should probably be a little bit more stingy. Um, but as I was saying, this is the only game that has the platform gun. And I think that's kind of unfortunate because the idea of a gun that makes platforms actually sounds really, really fun. And um, I'm surprised that there hasn't been a game that was based around it. That seems like a... Like, look at this. That's super cool. Um, granted, it does break the game to an extent. Um, but I don't know. I feel like you could make something with, like, a fairly decent level of challenge if you, like, really focused on it and just... Well, that was three big bouncies in a row. I'm just... Pardon me, sir. <laughs> that little dude right there, the first in a long line of tradition of just big bouncy bastards that you see in Mega Man games that just obstruct you from the boss area. Okay, I am... I almost teleported off the ladder. I didn't even know I could do that. Um, so I'm going to see if I can... I've got a fair amount of health. This should be okay. 
But I'm gonna see if I can beat Mega, uh, be see if I can beat Elect Man in one try. Um, if I manage to do this, I will be very impressed with myself. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes. <clears throat> Imagine if I had gotten him on the rebound there as it was boomeranging around. That would have been so cool. Yes! <laughs> in your face! Woo! <laughs> Suck on it! Suck on it! <laughs> Looks like a Lek man shorted out. <laughs> yeah, <it's all> right. um, <laughs> Iceman, let's do this. <laughs> and, and actually, uh, I have to confess, um, I didn't know the proper boss order when I uh, first played this as a kid, so... Um, there was totally an occasion where uh, I kind of used my own uh, guile with this, and I kind of go like, Okay, so Electman is there, and there's that little platform I can stand on. Is there like a weapon that uh, I can use that uh, would let me attack from the high ground? And wouldn't you know it, the um, Cutsman's weapon goes uh, over and down when you use it. And so, <laughs> and it does like insane amount of damage to him, so... I bitch about the fact that bosses are able to kill you in three hits, but, uh, it looks like, um, you can also kill them in three hits if you know what you're doing. And also, there's Mega Man bosses where you can just straight up kill some people in, like, you know, one or two hits, so... I don't know, maybe I'm just kind of unnecessarily grousing at this point. Maybe it's because I'm on the receiving end of the badness. Okay, there we go. Whoop! <laughs> I'm all like, I'm so good at this game, immediately plummet into the ice water. That is kind of the rule of thumb when you're doing a Let's Play, isn't it? Is that the instant that you start getting too big for your britches, the game will remind you and just kind of snap you back to reality. Pardon me. Whoop. <laughs> I, I absolutely love these guys right here. Their expressions just crack me up. Like, because there's so many of them. It's a... Nothing hit me there. Did you see that? I, I landed on the dude. I don't think, I don't think a shot hit me. Are you freaking... <sighs> what? Now I'm all annoyed and I'm letting that little scooty bastard get the... All right, I'm going to go back and review the footage later, but that was, uh, that was bull crap. I don't think... Like, I think he got the shot out as I landed, but I was on top of him. Like, nothing nothing should have hit me. So annoying. Okay. All right, whatever. Take two. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm not even gonna stand on you guys. You, do, you don't deserve that honor anymore. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go about my way. Yeah, I'm wasting... Every bit of the platform gun, I don't care. It was worth it. Um. Oh god. Oh, I really hope I can get that. No! Ugh! <laughs> Just got the got the ultimate consolation prize. They really, they really tease you with the one-ups in this game. Like it. <laughs> it's like, hey, do you you want the one up? I mean it it's right here. You can have it if you want it. Ugh. I always think I can predict his big jump, and I totally can't. Uh, how many lives do I have? Okay, um... Alright, I, I ask that how many lives I have because, um... I am... I'm tempted to see... Uh... If I can... Beat, uh... So you're supposed to use a Man's weapon on, uh, Iceman. Uh, that's what's most effective against him. Um, not the fire weapon, surprisingly, but I digress. I wanna see if I can... I'm gonna waste a life to see if I can beat, uh, Iceman... Uh, without it, and see if I can just do this normally, just to see if I can make things interesting. So if I can, if I get to my last life and I can't, I'll just I'll just admit that I'm a total wiener and I can't do it. Yeah, this guy's already kicking my ass. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right, that's one. If I can go for two. Like, this is my last chance. If I can't do it, I'm gonna, like, totally cop out and I'm gonna just beat him with the elect weapon. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, you think I could time this more effectively? Uh, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Uh, oh. I just threaded the needle on that. Oh my god. Oh, he's speeding up. Oh, crap. <clears throat> God, I can't believe I did that! That was incredible! <laughs> you know what? Like, that's that's a great note to end this episode on. So I'm gonna end this here. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in part three. Bye-bye!